Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Wonderful City of ZSL Podcast. Today is a reading webinar snippet. I am so grateful to be bringing you guys this because obviously I've been doing a lot of webinars lately. And in this session number five, man, it is unbelievable. What I'm even more grateful for is the fact that I had someone, oh my God, I think her name is so we. So we, so we got, I don't think she, I don't believe she follows my podcast. She saw me on the Facebook page and she realizes that I am the top 1%. So she asked me about a summary question webinar. I sent it to her. She bought it for $5 and the next, you know, she said, oh my God, I applied those skills I learned in that webinar and I got all of them corrected. Another passage that I used it on. And I see that's the beauty of it. And she said, do you have any other reading? So I sent her four other webinars. And there was another Malaysian guy that reached out to me. He's like, hey, man, I really need some help with the speaking and stuff like that. And I said, well, come on in. And I'm just so grateful that these webinars are so great. You know, there was another guy from Chile who was like, I need help in writing. I sent him my webinars. He did four hours of coaching within a couple of days. And now he is going in for the uh, the TOEFL test. So I realized that a lot of the content that I'm creating is really making a change. And I'm just so grateful because the level of confidence not only with me, but especially with my students, which is the most important, is just skyrocketing. So, guys, I have a nice little snippet here. Again, make sure you check out my Podia. This is reading session number five. It should be in the comment section. And check that bad boy out. Get your pencil ready. Get ready to do some listening and hear how my students break down these questions. Until then, without further ado, let's get into it. Correcto. See? Do you guys get how you eliminate? I'm telling you, eliminating these sorry ass answers first can be the beautiful thing, okay? So, Sabi, Angela, A, like D. A. Oh, oh. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like A because this no the exact cause and there are a, a lot of hypotheses. That's I right, science. Like exactly, exactly. That's right. Cause, cause. Mm -hmm. Hypothesis. Several. Hypothesis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hypothesis. Proposed. <laughs> what else? Hypothesis. <laughs> Evidence. <laughs> That's all blah, blah, blah. That's just like what a scientist does. No offense to scientists. But this is what, hey, I think this. I think this. Oh, well, we don't know. Okay. Yeah. So you're right. So the answer is D. Is D. So this is very, very good stuff. I love the way that we're breaking these questions down. That's the most important part. Oh God! I get confused. Yeah, go ahead. I get confused there because the number D should be the right one, but uh, there it says that um, some hypo hypotheses fail to account for simultaneous extinctions on land and in the seas. Right? So You're very. You're so right. Some mass extinctions occurred on land and in the seas at the same time. But it says that it fa fails. Some hypothesis, hypothesis fail to account for simultaneous extinctions, you know? On land and in the seas, you're right. You're right. But it says some hypothesis. I, I think, and that's the, tr that's the trick. I hate the word some. <laughs> the some could change the meaning of everything. And so it doesn't say, it says some hypothesis, but that doesn't necessarily mean all hypotheses. I, you know what I mean? So in this case, what I would do, Gonzalo, and for obviously anyone else out there, is to look at this and say, okay, well, scientists know the exact causes. Which answer is worse? That's what I would do, okay? So Angela, Sabi, that's your first time. Obviously, you know, Thais, Gonzalo, which answer is worse? Which one sounds worse? That's what we're gonna do, okay? Okay. Whew. All right, okay, I love it. Oh, guys, this question just kicks I, my, yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, that, my friend, that friend I recommend you, ask me why you don't invite her for the- Gabby, Grace. right? Grace. Grace, 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 that's right. Oh, because Grace is always busy. I always send her coupons and she never comes. She never comes. And so that's oh, all I'm like, I'm not sending you any more coupons, Grace. <laughs> so I'm going to send Grace one more coupon. And if she doesn't use it, I sent her like six of them. So yeah, <laughs> yeah tell her right, Saturday. Tell her Saturday. 
Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Saturday, same time. Okay. Okay, okay. Tell her I'm so sorry, but she doesn't come to my things when I make the coupon. So, <laughs> okay. Anyways, all right, all right. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gents, let's do it. Now, in this question, Angela, I'm not sure if you are aware of this. You're basically going to have a highlight a couple of sentences, and you have to find the definition that associates itself the most with that highlight highlighted uh, essential information. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hurry up and put this on the same page. And I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller if I can. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is move this over and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So there we go. I think you guys will be able to see it now. Okay. And I'm going to leave it right here and I'm going to leave your videos over here on the side. So Huh. It says here, American paleontologist David Rupp on Sepkowski, who have studied the extinction rates in a number of fossil groups, suggests that episodes of increased extinction have recurred periodically, approximately every 26 million years since the mid-Cretaceous period. We have to understand all that information because what's going to happen in these answers is that it's going to be a little bit different. And so I want everyone to obviously look at what we have in A, B, C, and D. So remember, they study extinction rates in fossil groups. They suggest episodes of this extinction happen every 26 million years ever since the mid-Cretaceous period. So let's break this down. A, based on their studies of extinction rates of numerous fossil groups, paleontologists David Rock and John Sapkowski have determined that mass extinctions occur about every 26 million years. B, David Rock and John Sapkowski studied extinction rates of fossil groups and suggest that mass extinctions during the Cretaceous period continued for 26 million years. See, studies that paleontologists David and John conducted of various fossil groups have revealed that extinction rates have increased over the past 26 million years. So everything has to revolve around this 26 million years. You guys get what I mean? Because in D, I don't see 26 million years. Hmm. What do you think, Thais? Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> it's okay. Let me ask Angela. Angela, what do you think? I don't think, think letter it's A is the right answer. Oh, you don't think A, you don't think A is the right answer? No, no, no. I think it is the right answer because okay, it does the same as the highlighted paragraph. Oh. Okay. Okay. So it's the same as the highlighted paragraph. Okay. Thais, what were you saying? I don't think so she's going D. with A. You think it's D? No, no, no. You don't think it's D? No. Good. Very good. So we could take D out. There are no 20, there's no 26 million years there. So yeah. now we know it's A, B, and C with Angela saying that A is her answer. Sabi, what do you think? I think it's no C because say over the past uh, and oh. they say um, approximately every every past every past different 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 man you guys are getting good at this Sabi you are you got some really good analytic skills too See, it's that dental school. That dental school really helped you. Okay, so, uh, all right, so good. So, Angela, Angela, she said A. Gonzalo, A or B, what's your answer? What's the best answer? A. Hey. Tell, now, tell me why. Tell me because, why. Um, tell me why. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Backstreet, Backstreet Boys came on. I'm sorry, guys. Every time I say tell me why, that always gets me. Go ahead, Gonzalo. <laughs> At the end of the answer V, it says that um, during the Cretaceous period continued for 26 million years. So that's wrong. Good. Hey, it's the answer. Congla oh, felicidades. There we go. I keep I keep mixing it up. My bad. I'm trying to get better at it. Angela, very good. Gonzalo, very good. Thais and Sabi eliminated the bad answers D and C. Yes, yes, yes. God damn, we're gonna have a perfect score on this one. Fire. Very, very good. Ooh, this is an interesting one. All right, going into question number seven. According to paragraph four, what aspect of extinction episodes does the companion star hypothesis supposedly clarify uh, sorry what was the question uh what was the answer answer oh I yeah hey 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 oh you disappear okay because <laughs> i heard you say tell me why and i thought you went to go put on the song and go sing to it Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So A, A is the answer to number six. Okay. All right. So what does it clarify? <sighs> okay, so what I would hurry up and do is look for the mention of the companion star. And this is where the first mention of the companion star is. I think we can eliminate the option D. Okay. All right. So there's severity. That is fantastic. Very good, Angela. Oh boy, the lawyers. My lawyers. They smart. They smart here. Very Well, I, I don't know. You say periodically it, could be a frequency. I can hear you. Arsenio, I can hear you. No, we can't. No, we cannot. We cannot. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Connect to your airport again. I know. It's my day. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait. 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 Oh man, I think my blue yet the blue yeti connection is actually getting really really bad. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, Angel, not Angel, but Angel. You know what I mean? This microphone, man, the, the whole thing is falling apart. Okay, I just won't even touch my goddamn desk anymore. Okay, so B, Sabi, that's what you said. Is that the answer you said? Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, Gonzalo. Because they say oh, periodically. Yep. Periodically. That, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Periodically. Ooh. Gonzalo, what do you think? Yeah, be the right answer. Frequency. Angela, mm. do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay, mm. Thais. Uh oh, I heard. I'm one. thinking about duration. Yeah. See? Ooh, so there's a difference between frequency and duration. So who can explain? Because these are very, they're too closely related. Now, Thais, duration is how long. Frequency is how often. 
Does that make sense? Hello? Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I was about to say, y'all scared me. I was like, oh my God, am I talking to myself again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's that time. I'm telling you, man, technology's falling apart. Do you understand? Duration is how long, frequency how often. So it may occur very logically. I don't know if I'm going to say this. So maybe it is frequency. That's mm -hmm. right. And that's why B is the answer. Periodically mm -hmm. is frequency. You're talking about how often periodically. You see, mm -hmm. periodically could be every week, every day, every month, every year. Duration is how long. So we would have to see how long does it last for? Up to would be one of the phrasal verbs that we would see. Oh, up to 40 years or, you know, yeah, 40 million years or 25 million years. That's talking about duration, but that language isn't being used here. So frequency is periodically, okay? Mm -hmm. ah, okay, awesome. All right, let's keep it going. We're almost done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, this one's okay. This one's all right. All right, eight, in stating that no asteroid itself has ever been recovered, the author emphasizes which of the following. Now, sorry, let me just hurry up and separate that. Uh, there we go. This iridium anomaly offers strong support for the Alvarez hypothesis, even though no asteroid itself has ever been recovered. Ooh, this is hard. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna let this is the, this is probably gonna be the second hardest question we do. So I'm gonna let you guys do that. Let me know if you want to eliminate some answers. I'm here for you. You could eliminate the D one because there is not mentioned anything about responsibility of scientists. You said, I'm sorry, the B or the D? D, D as and Delta. Okay, gotcha. D is out. Good job. Very good, Gonzalo. Sometimes these confuse these questions, Sabi, Angela, they could be so confusing. So what we have to do is just say, you know what? You're, you're gonna have to take a step back because when we're looking at the importance in direct evidence, the fact that no evidence, uh, researchers, although that's totally different from everything else, and the responsibility of scientists, which is totally different from everything else too. Um, it's all about eliminating the bad answers and going with that process of elimination and then just trying to just plug it in. Uh, no, C. It's not C, I think. Okay, the reason many researchers reject it says nothing about reject. It says support. <laughs> okay. Contrast. Contrast. Okay. Get C the hell out of here. So we have A and we have B. I think it doesn't say anything about large, large asteroid. It does. Okay. Okay. So it says nothing about large asteroid. B, it says the fact that no evidence supports the asteroid. However, it says iridium offers strong support. Yeah, I think the A is the right one. Mm -hmm. The importance of the indirect evidence for the large asteroid. Yeah. Indirect evidence.